Welcome to France. Merci. Thank you. Welcome to uh, Virgin Mega. Really pleased to talk to you. Um, it's about your very first album. Yeah. It's called Happiness. It is. And it sounds a bit like a kind of joke to, to give it a title, such a title like, like that. To be dressed really stiff and striped and to use some happy words and happiness to sing about joyous things in a kind of sad attitude. Yeah. It's funnily, it, funnily enough, it's not really. It's um, it, we call it happiness because it's uh, when we started the band, we were very unhappy. I mean, with the band's called Hurts for a reason because we were kind of unemployed. And, and when we finished making the album, we were finally kind of we were finally happy. I think, and and also all the songs are about the pursuit of happiness and trying to trying to be happy, which is often which is often quite sad eventually. But uh, but yeah, so it was more. It was quite important we called it that, I think, that it was, because uh, there's a lot of that in, in the album. We're much happier than we used to be, <laughs> just about. A friend of mine once writes about a style of music, um, and he, he tells me that there was a kind of suffering with style. Do yeah. you think it's a good definition of your work, is suffering with style? That could be, it could be a good way to put it, yeah. <laughs> um, you're from Manchester, and the fact that you're coming from a city like that, is it... Um, kind of overshadows um, the fact that yeah, there's a young generation of musicians, and you often um, reference to uh, Joy Division, mm. or New Order, and things like that. It kind, of, I mean, in in some respects it does, but in a lot of respects, being from Manchester, is, is a, it's been a great thing for us because it's it's quite inspiring that a lot of bands have made it from Manchester and people have been successful and stuff. It's it's quite an, it's quite an inspiring thing, but I think that. What's happened recently is there's been lots of bands come out of there, so the kind of the older bands exist separately now. So it's a good feeling, but I think it's um, it's very important for our music. So it's so it's kind of good, and you're always going to get grouped in with with people. But it's, I guess it's in some ways it's a compliment. I don't think we could have made the album without Manchester. It was where we met each other, where we learned painfully over four years how to write pop songs, and where we had a lot of experiences and. Uh, I, I can hear Manchester in every song on the album. Mm. Do you feel close to Delphic? Um, well, we're friends with him actually, yeah. Delphic, and, and, and all the others, Everything, Everything, and the other ones, because the amazing thing about a lot of these bands is that we've, been, we've all been trying to get somewhere for a very long time, and, and, and the great thing with the, with the new bands that have come out of Manchester is that there's no competition because everyone's very different, and so it's a really, so everyone's kind of, everyone's just kind of happy that, every, that the, the city's doing well, and it's not kind of, it's not a difficult time. It's it's a nice time because you, yeah, you're not you can just listen to their music by itself. So it's cool. Delphic are into pop, classic pop, mm. like David Bowie and uh, Velvet Underground, and uh, they say uh, that um, when they come to a club to hear some electronic music, they come back to their studio and record something which is a mixture of their pop uh, uh, sensibility mm. and and their. Um, rock and, and pop background is it your case too i think for them it comes through live a lot we saw them in japan and it was a lot different live than it was on record because there they were a rock ba rock band that were playing dance music which was very cool um but it's not really the same for us we don't really go to nightclubs <laughs> so we can't we, we used to we go. used to we used to but then we ran out of money so we didn't you met but, in a club yeah we met outside a nightclub so fight uh, yeah uh, sorry uh, about that is no, it, true? it wasn't our fight we were fine oh. no need to be sorry it was the it was the idiots that were fighting that we got it's to a play. Cool story but it was but i mean well what we've tried i guess what we've tried to do is we we love pop music too and we 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 always we'll always make pop music and i think but it's about making it um making it sound interesting and making it sound exciting for people which is the biggest challenge of all and I think somebody like obviously Delphic have got a similar similar idea. And you like to make it sound really theatrical, yeah. dramatic. Especially sense. especially live. Yeah. Because the the live live we try and be it's like an extension of the album. It's the album but it's bigger, it's one step further. It's more dramatic. We've got uh, more musicians involved. It's um, an elaborate version of the album. So we're not just pushing play on a tape. Mm. Which is taking a long time to prepare and arrange, and but it guess, makes it exciting, exciting for people. The drama comes also comes from when we made the record. We, our our world was so small. Like we were unemployed. We lived in a tiny little apartment, and we we couldn't even. Like I said we couldn't even go to the pub. So we had such a tiny world. It just was the two of us that we made this huge, uh, dramatic music as a way of as a way of escape, really. And the more 
the more dramatic the better <laughs> most of the time. Is it a challenge to use small equipment, um, tiny elements to get something really uh, huge and pompous? Is it, it a challenge? You'd think it would be, but in fact limitations are really good, I think. If you only have a small collection of sounds to call upon, it makes the decision simpler. It's, that's why there's only two of us, because we like simplicity. Mm. Everything's easier when there's less. Yeah. And on a computer, when you, when you, instead of using analog synths, if you use digital synths, you can, uh, possibilities are endless. You can do whatever you want with them. They're not, they can be timeless, which is, uh, which is the most exciting thing about it, I think. Do you think about the stage layout, your dressing layout and design when you're recording sound? Do you think in pictures, in image? It's interesting you should say that because a lot of the time when we, with the visuals and, the, and the, the visual side of the band does help us to write music and, and likewise the music helps us make the videos obviously so it's, it's important that you've got both because you, if you make a world around yourself you, you can understand what you're writing music for, which is it's kind of a good thing. And live, it's live, it's um, live, it's, it's the same thing again. It, they, they kind of all they all help each other, but yeah, it's very visual. Really. Are you inspired by a German expressionist? Uh, yeah, well, cinema and black and white movies. And lots of that, and lots of Italian cinema as well, and people like David Lynch and all kinds of stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I guess one thing is, is people who make normal things seem interesting. It was quite exciting. What about disco lente? Yeah. I uh, heard about this style. Is it something that, that appeals to you or is it just a tag? Or? Well, it was not, it was just something at the beginning. It was because we've always liked <coughs> European pop music like Italo disco and, and things like that. And it was at the beginning for us, it was it was a nice, because we were very lost at the beginning. We didn't know what we were kind of doing. We, we were writing these songs, but we had no direction. And, and that kind of helped us a lot. And, like I say, Italians write great pop music, they always have. Mm. And you still think uh, there's some new Italian uh, disco lente or pop group, interesting group nowadays? Well, we've not, we've, we went there last week to Milan and we've, uh, we, we, we got some CDs from the record company, but we've not listened to them yet, so mm. we'll find out soon. But in the 90s, it was big for Italians. There was a point in the 90s when Italians ruled the British charts. There was like, it was like about 95, 96, it was like dance music, Italian dance music, it was like, all over the place. So there's honesty and sincerity in a lot of European music <clears throat> that you don't perhaps get in England. Mm. There's a purity to the, the words and the lyrics. And the emotion. I think that's something we've taken. Is it the case for your lyrics? Do you like to write some, something really poetic but really simple, humble lyrics? Yeah, I think so. It's, it's about... We've always liked simplicity in things and I always think there's a lot of power in, 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 uh, in the simple, simple message, I think. And, it, and if it's... If it's Sort of said in an interesting way is is a cool thing and 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 yeah you just got to, you write, kind of just have to write about things that that you know and that make sense to you because then the emotion comes out because we because we we need that in the songs that kind of intense emotion so the only way you get that is by writing things writing about things you know. And my last question: Do you think that because you use some something really pure, really simple black and white pictures? is a way to, to let people um, make their, their very own pictures and their very own film movies. It's the whole the whole point in Hertz really that to be honest. It's great observation. It's, <laughs> if you can have more depth to it, to what you do then people can use their imagination and they imagine what something yeah. what a world is like even though we've only kind of given away a small amount. So it's, it's, yeah if you give them fifty percent I've always we've always loved music that's done that. Give you give somebody give somebody ten percent or fifty percent and whatever they make up in their mind is, you kind of give it away to people to, to, to make up what they want with. And it's, it's something that's always excited me. It's nice that people interpret things in a very different way. It's what excites us the most, that you just go, here you go. Thank you very much. No Merci. Merci beaucoup. Thanks. Cheers.